What's going on guys, Garrett the Investor here. Thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, thanks so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe below for any content with personal finance, investing, real estate, and personal development. Uh, it would really help out the channel. So today marks a really exciting day because it's been about one month since I've moved into this duplex. My girlfriend and I became homeowners and also real estate investors. And what I'm gonna be talking about today is what are some of the things for you to do uh, once you move into your new home? Step number one is make sure that you have a concrete date of the move-in time to give your landlord a heads up, switching utilities and officially switching your address. And the next thing that you wanna do is once you're in, you wanna test your circuit breakers. You also wanna figure out where the turnoff valves are. You know, God forbid there's some sort of emergency. You just want to have a plan in place to know, you know, exactly where everything is, whether it's the water valve, whether it's the breaker, etc. Just for your security and for your safety, uh, these are some of the fundamentals that you want to work with. Another thing that you want to do is you want to test out the smoke alarms and also the carbon monoxide detector and make sure that everything is working appropriately. Another thing is I would highly recommend doing a deep cleaning on your place before you move in. I always feel weird, especially if it's not a, a brand new home that you're moving into, because think about it, people are messy. You don't really know too much about the homeowners before. And regardless, it's nice to know that you move into some place where it's completely clean, you know, it's fresh. It's kind of going to have that new car smell, new car feeling, but in a home, which is going to be 10 times better. Cleaning services are typically, they're right around like 60 to $80 an hour. Uh, we were actually able to do both of our units for right around like $300 and that's including tip. But it's just nice to know that when you walk in, it's completely fresh and clean for you. Also, what you wanna do, um, kind of talking about the security, is you wanna make sure that you change out the locks. You have no idea how many copies of keys are just floating out there with the previous tenants or previous owners of the property. So it's very important for the safety of yourself and then if you have tenants for them as well, to make sure that you swap out all of the locks. Another thing that you wanna to start to think about is uh, just from a utility perspective is change out the furnace filters and understand where you get your water source. For instance, where I'm living right now, it's a completely well water. Um, so the sewage, the well is not connected to the town or the city. Uh, so it's really dependent on our property itself. So there's a little bit of extra maintenance that goes into it, but not too much. Also change out the furnace filter as well. What I would recommend as soon as you move in, change out that furnace filter. It's just going to help out the air quality within your home. And then it's also going to reduce your utility costs as time goes on. So it's a win-win. When it comes to emergency, you just want to be as proactive as possible. You want to make sure that you have an emergency plan in place. And that includes having a list of emergency numbers beyond 911 programmed into your phones. Whether that's a plumber, a contractor, an electrician, make sure that you have a team around you to be able to help you if something is too much to handle. You want to make sure that you have your reliable people to reach out to if anything were to happen. Also, in the case of emergency or like a natural disaster, uh, draw out a plan that if emergency were to happen, you were going to go meet at this specific spot. Again, it's not probable that it'll happen, but it's just good to have that preparation and that mindset in place when you move in. And then also meet your neighbors. I can't tell you enough about what it means to build a community and be a part of a community. Some of the neighbors that you meet might have insight to the town, places to eat or trails to go to, etc. to make your time as a homeowner more enjoyable. And then what I would really recommend as well, and we did this and it was a little bit intense, but I was so happy that we did this, which was plan a party, plan a housewarming party. And I know COVID is around and I get it, that you want to be safe and it's important to do so but plan a party plan some sort of event even if it's just with you and your spouse or you and your family to come over and enjoy the place it's your time to celebrate your homeowner your real estate investor whatever the case may be you know this is the time to really enjoy and celebrate your success right it's a stepping stone into bigger things and a life that you deserve so it also will create incentive and initiative to get things done quicker, whether it's painting, doing the decoration, 
mowing the, the grass, etc. Because you want to make sure that all of those things are done. So you're kind of setting a deadline for you to finish up the things around the house so that those boxes don't just stay there two, three years later down the road without you actually investigating and having a spot for it. So it's just very important that you can do that. And it's just fun. You want to be around your family and friends during this exciting time. You know, especially if you're a first time homeowner, because there's a lot to celebrate. And then the last thing is just enjoy it. You know, celebrate with each other, be there with whoever you bought the home with. If you're moving in alone, you know, do things that are rewarding to you. If you are passionate about art or music, do that as much as you can in the house. Create a standard for yourself when you move into your new spot. If there's a routine that you've been wanting to get into or habit, you know, maybe it's working out, establish that as soon as you get in and create that association that this new place is to start fresh, to create positive habits so that you can be a better version of yourself, so that you can be better for other people. For me, I plan to do a hell of a lot more YouTube videos. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I, I hope you really enjoy your home and you're excited. If you have any questions, leave a comment below.